This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so in the last session, we discussed about the SCCM history details, right? The versions. These are the versions of SCCM. Then we talked about the certification in SCCM. Then we talked about the opportunities in SCCM. Then we talked about SCCM yeah. sites. There are three sites in SCCM Central, which is an optional site. Central is what? It's an optional site. Primary. Sec secondary is of also an optional, but primary optional is mandatory, mandatory site. Yes. Then central administration site is needed only when you have these two conditions, right? It is also an optional site. It needs SQL Server database. It does not process client data. Then primary site is a mandatory site. The first thing. It manages client in well connected network. It requires SQL Server database. It supports client assignment. Okay. Secondary site is also an option which are in branch office it needs sql server database it does not support client assignment yeah clear clear then we talked about the capability central administration site supports 700000 devices yeah 7 lakh primary site 1 lakh secondary site 5000 then we have three diagrams one is for a small size companies second for, for second one is for me medium size company third one is for big size companies we have already done the explanation yesterday yeah yeah database travels from downward to upward this one is the master data. The central administration side will be the master database. <clears throat> now we'll talk about the site roles today. These are site roles. Okay. So all all uh, these these roles are important roles in SCCM. We'll talk about these roles one by one. So first thing, let's talk about management point. What is a management point? Okay. Management point is a role which is a communication bridge between the server and the client. So you have SCCM, let's say primary site server. Got it? and you have client computers let's say there are 2000 computers in mumbai 3000 computers in london 4000 computers in hyderabad so the clients <coughs> And the devices cannot directly talk to primary site server that is not possible clients cannot talk to the server directly so it is actually the management point mp which is the communication bridge between the server and the client clear yeah. understood so management yeah, yeah. point is what the first thing is it's a communication bridge between server and the client. The second one is it is the policy keeper. So basically it keeps all the policies. Suppose you have to install Google Chrome. on all hyderabad computer so basically you send the from sccm you send the policy here 
okay and the devices will take the policy and Hyderabad computer will take that policy and Google Chrome will get installed so all policies and instructions are kept here all good understood all policy are instructed through management point yes management point is is the policy keeper it contains all the policies Okay. okay instructions what all instruction we have to do to the devices basically it keeps or management point keeps all the instructions okay okay then the third thing is management point collects inventory inventory data from devices so you, you have hardware invent you have 4000 devices in hyderabad 3000 devices in london 2000 devices in mumbai i would like to know the hardware inventory and software inventory hardware details of hyderabad computers software details of uh, hyderabad computers similarly for london computers mumbai computers so basically a management point collects all the inventory it collects in inventory from devices okay and then after collecting the inventory from the devices it stores them into the database server okay it collects inventory and stores in database center in database clear yeah point number five this management point this management point can be installed you can install this management point on you may install on you may install it on primary site server either on the same server okay or you can install this on secondary site server or any other separate windows server you can install it let's say you would like to install management point on a separate box so you can install management point on this server on a separate box or you may install management point on this server on sccm server got it yeah. so you have to make a note of these points management point is a communication bridge it's a policy keeper it collects inventory it stores uh, the inventory in the database and it can be installed on for primary site server Either primary or server. secondary server or separate or windows server. okay yeah. so it's a very important role in SSM. if this is down then nothing will happen the policy will not reach to the devices in it will not collect the inventory it won't store the inventory in the database understood so the communication yeah. will break the server and client communication will be broken now the second role is the distribution point it's like atm you know you have atm right next to your place right so you go there in atm and collect the money right similarly let's say there are 2000 yeah devices in Mumbai 2000 devices in London Mumbai okay 3000 devices in Hyderabad right and you have primary site server SCCM primary site server that is in uh, let's say New York understood yeah. so if you have to deploy something let's say you have to install any application or patches right through sccm so you need to install distribution point here dp for mumbai you need to install distribution point in london and distribution point in hyderabad so every region will have its dedicated distribution point okay understood and you can send the content from sccm 
to these distribution point you can send content content like you can send application right you can send uh, updates or os files or policies all these will be downloaded into distribution point and mumbai 2000 computers which are there in mumbai they will always download it from here devices in london they will always download it from here devices in hyderabad they will always down download it from here got it yeah so this is like content storage so mumbai device will not have to go to a different location to download the content they can download from a from the respective uh, distribution point distribution point yeah then software update point software update point for patch deployment so software update point will help you to deploy updates to your devices suppose you have like uh, let's say 10000 devices so you can deploy updates you know microsoft updates you know we get the updates on windows computer right yeah 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 hmm? now, so you can deploy every app there is hmm sorry now where is every yeah. software every app is getting updates yeah almost everything almost all application and uh, operating system needs update so that it can you know fix the problem it will fix the vulnerability so you will be able to deploy updates through software update point software update point is a component of sccm basically it is integrated into sccm and you can deploy updates to devices microsoft windows update okay next point is fallback status point fallback status point is suppose if something is down let's say you have sccm primary site server in new york and you have distribution point here let's say mumbai distribution point you have london you have hyderabad and you have distribution point at dp in mumbai dp in london and dp in hyderabad now suppose mumbai distribution point goes down this is not accessible what will happen to let's say 2000 devices in mumbai 2000 devices in london and 2000 devices in hyderabad so these 2000 devices will not be able to get any content understood yeah. so fallback status point basically will help the computer where the distribution point is down because this is down these computers 2000 computers can download the content from here got it from direct from direct okay but you have to have a good good connectivity if you have low bandwidth network then it will choke up you have to have good connectivity then only you install fallback status point understood yeah <clears throat> then application catalog website point website and these two roles these two roles application catalog website and web service point these two roles are needed to create a website so you need to create a website let's say http colon slash slash app store dot com it's like play store you have installed application on your mobile device right play store yeah or app store similarly for internal user let's say we have uh, 15,000 15, users so those 15,000 users can go to this website and this website will have connection with SCCM server, SCCM software library. So this connection, this will be established by this application catalog website point. 
basically through this website you through SCCM you can publish application here okay these application will be published by SCCM into this website and you will have install button here so if any user needs any application he will have to click on the application and choose install it will get installed in his computer like app store yeah got it yeah understood so that is the role of application catalog website point and web service point then sms provider sms provider is basically the translator between sccm and database so you have database here and sccm server right so sms provider which is a translator between sccm and database like postman translator interpreter understood yeah. because sccm does not sccm talks in wmi language and uses sql language so sms provider will convert the wmi into sql and then feed database postman okay okay then asset intelligence synchronization point this is basically needed to manage license suppose you purchased 100 license for adobe acrobat got it yeah so then you adobe acrobat you are giving license to the computer so it will give you a dashboard the free license how many free license let's say 30 free license and consumed license how many license consumed so it's just 30 consumed 100 right as mentioned yeah. and also this role is to categorize the software it will help you to categorize uh, browser category application or uh, player category or uh, database category it will give you the category of the application understood yeah. then you have endpoint protection endpoint protection is to deploy antivirus let's say you have 5000 computers and you need to install antivirus in these computers so through sccm you can deploy antivirus endpoint protection epp endpoint protection point it is nothing but what antivirus which is integrated into sccm okay, okay? Then reporting services point reporting services point is to get the reports. So suppose you have SCCM and you have database to get the reports from database server. You need to install reporting services point role here. You have reports here, right? So this role will help yeah. you to integrate. This role will help you to integrate this report into SCCM. So you can access your report from SCCM. You don't need to go to database. You can access all the reports from SCCM itself. Okay. Yeah. Service connection point. Service connection point is to keep SCCM up to date. For example, you are using SCCM. The what is the current version of SCCM? 1910, right? The 196 is running. 1910 is in testing. Yeah, let's say 1910 is the for example is the latest one now tomorrow after like six months uh, in in the March 2000 March 2000 
20 right you will get yeah. 20 uh, 0 2 yeah. right so service connection point is basically helps you to check with microsoft update server which is on the cloud microsoft update server and if new version comes in it will give you the notification that new version is there mm. so that you can download and install the latest version and your sccm will be upgraded from sccm 1910 to the latest version so basically to to keep sccm updated yeah updated right <clears throat> that's the role of service connection point now the last role is a state migration point state migration is basically when you are migrating a system from windows 7 to windows 10 for example you have windows 7 computer and you need to migrate it to windows 10 now before you migrate the first thing what you do you capture capture the users the document whatever the documents you have here those things will get captured like copy all the documents clear okay then second thing what you do is you format the computer like delete everything format blank then the third thing is you load operating system you load operating system yeah windows 10 for example you load windows 10 and then point number four you restore whatever you captured you restore back all the files understood yeah so this is a state migration point All good? Yeah. Now what you have to do is uh, now are you going to do the lab setup on local computer or Microsoft Azure cloud? Which one? Cloud. On cloud. Okay. So you will you will need to perform some task. What you have to do, I will send you one email wherein all the steps are mentioned. First thing you need to go to outlook.live.com. I think this is the one outlook.live.com and then you need to create your free account. You need to click on this create free account. Got it? Yeah. Pavan? Okay, yeah, which yeah. I'll show you what you have to do. Let me just let me just send an email to you. Uh, what's your email address, Pavan? What's your email address, Pavan? One moment. Check your WhatsApp on. Okay. Email address is uh, V. E N K A T P A V A N eight three seven at the red gmail dot com. So you need to go to step number one. You need to go to this web link. You need to create your account, then go to Azure free trial, then you create your subscription. It needs credit card, but it is just for the verification they won't charge you anything it's just for the verification it is free for the 30 days okay and after 30 days 
it will disable your account automatically so in order to continue if you would like to continue after 30 days then you will have to change the subscription from free trial to pay as you go then only they will microsoft will start uh, sending you you know charging you otherwise they won't charge anything okay okay clear so i just sent this yeah. uh, uh, email to you i want you to perform this step make sure you get yeah, sure. this step done today today or tomorrow before we meet yeah let's do tomorrow before we meet meet uh, in the session and we'll start doing the practicals and uh, setting up our labs so we will have our servers like windows server windows uh, server domain controller one second one our primary site server third one database server and the fourth one client oh, computer windows 10 and this yeah sure so you'll be able to do it yeah, sure. okay so i will send you the recording and uh, make sure you complete this and we'll meet you tomorrow okay any question pavan nothing hmm okay thank you bye bye nothing pavan. nothing okay thanks bye